sometimes the shadows in my world kind of get in the way a little bit. I kind of stayed on a side of the spectrum where there's shadows, which kind of made it a bit harder to see at times. I probably should have shown you things from another perspective. Too late now. Where is this shadow being cast from? Where is the light coming from? If the shadows are on this side, realistically, there should be a light source. Oh, what's that? Way up in the sky. Hmm. We have this sun that looks like it's right about the right angle to cast that type of shadow. This comes from our directional light. Now, if I double click on it, I'll see there's a directional light object. This doesn't actually appear in any games. It just shows the angle of our main light source casting downwards in that direction. So it should be right up there. And there it is. This object can actually be influenced. I'm just going to go kind of below the ground here. Actually, why not just pull this up a little ways so we can see it without that mesh in the background there. A little bit of perspective in the corner. What happens if I change the X and Y position of this? It's tilting. Now, the Y up left and right is actually changing the position of the sun in the sky. The Z is actually not going to do anything here because that's just changing the rotation of the camera. And we're rotating the sun doesn't really change it because it's so far away. It doesn't really change the lighting. But take a look at this. The sun is now in a very different position, making the lighting now be from a very different angle. Now this side of the mountain is in the shadows. Or, I don't even have to see this lighting thing to be adjusting this, just have it selected. I can now tilt it down towards the horizon. Take a look at my scene as I do so. The lighting takes a minute to kind of figure itself out, but there's the sun on the horizon, and there's my scene. And as I go below the horizon, night sets in. Look at that. It's fully night now. Now where is this sun? Well, it's on the other side of the earth, technically for us, being hidden. The night sky is now fully dark. And if I want to keep on dragging it around, I see that now it's almost rising on the other side of the earth. See this sun, beautiful sunrise? Here it comes. And we should see it popping over the horizon in a sec here. Oh, a little too fast. And there it is, just peeking over. Gives some really nice mood lighting. This side of the mountain is nicely illuminated by dawn, and the other side is in the shadow. And with this, we have the ability to really set the tone of the scene. And for those who have come before, yes, we can definitely attach strips to the sun to have it move automatically and create a day-night cycle in our worlds. Look forward to being able to do that pretty soon.